Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today, I want to talk about a camera that I got a year and a half ago and it didn't really click with me. And that is the Plowbell Machina 670. This is a medium format camera, rangefinder camera with a six by seven frame. And it has a few quirks to it, but the first one is it has bellows. So you click and you snap it out. And then it has this scissor system for focusing. So you focus by moving the scissor and the focusing is on the top knob here. I think I already made a review and I'll leave a link up here. If I did, I know I did it in Spanish, uh, but this camera, I got it because I have always loved six by seven aspect ratio the best. And, um, not having a six by seven camera was driving me crazy as I had sold my second Mamiya seven. Basically I have owned it multiple times and it was, I didn't have it anymore and I was missing the Mamiya seven, but the prices were getting really, really high for that already a year and a half ago. So a friend of mine gave me uh, the opportunity to buy this Pablo Machina 670. And this is one of those kind of like a uh, white whale camera that you want that you never want to buy, but you always kind of want to buy. And uh, I got it for a really, really good price. And it didn't click at all with me. If you watch my previous review, uh, it has some weird stuff like the focusing on the top, the lens aperture thing is like this huge opening. I don't know what to do with my left hand because I can't focus. I just basically hold the camera. And um, I didn't fall in love with it. It was just not the camera for me. So it spent another eight to 10 months in a basically a uh, backpack. And recently I, meanwhile, I got a Mamiya 7. Recently I sold it again because it's just not the camera for me. It's too good. I don't use it enough. Um, so I was like, okay, six by seven maybe is not for me. Maybe I should sell them and get a GFX, something like that. Um, Cause I'm struggling with medium format film currently, at least in six by seven. So I pick up this camera and I'm like, uh, I bought it from a friend for a good price. What should I do with it? So I decide it's kind of boring. And suddenly I see one of my Patreons, Matthias from uh, Norway, shoots a selfie with this camera, a little flash. And it was like a Nikon SB800. This is completely different flash. And uh, Kodak Gold 120. When I bought this camera, Kodak Gold 120 wasn't available. I shot a couple of rolls of Portra, probably Pro 400H and stuff like that. wasn't convinced, but the poppy color saturated results of the gold plus the flash kind of made me think, what if I make this my Martin Parr flash camera of sorts, point and shoot. So I had the opportunity to go to Photopia, a camera fair in Hamburg, and I decided to pack 10 rolls of gold, this camera and a flash. This is the Roly 121. Uh, BC. I don't know what BC means. Uh, it's not the usual BC before Christ, um, but it has a very easy scale on the back. So all you have to do to shoot with this camera and flash due to this camera having a leaf shutter, a central shutter on the lens is it syncs at all speeds. So all you do is you move this analog wheel to like ISO 100. I was overexposing uh, gold a little bit. Uh, Color negative likes it, especially if you're scanning. And I basically went ahead and would sync the lines and it would be like F uh, 11, two meters. So I would go ahead, put my lens at F 11, extend this, put the little wheel at two meters, then compose by moving myself back and forward and shooting. Then if I wanted something close up, which is minimum uh, possibility, 1.5 meters, I would go for F16. So I would go F16 and that would be 1.5 meters. And if I wanted F22, that would be one meter and I would go F22 and shoot. Doing this has made me enjoy this camera tremendously. The results are not something that is gonna win any prizes. I wouldn't print them and put them on the wall. Uh, probably none of them, maybe one or two, uh, just for the sake of fun and giggles but it really made me enjoy a camera that I hadn't enjoyed previously. And it's sometimes those limitations when you're using equipment that really expand your vision of what you can do photography wise. I find that when I have all the options and one could say the camera or photography you could use that has all the options is digital photography. 
uh, because you can change everything from ISO to white balance to everything after the shot sometimes or during the shot or every shot and stuff like that. But when you constrain your, your possibilities with uh, one film stock that is Kota Gold, which I did not love the first time I shot it, I really enjoyed it this time, then uh, with one camera, with one format, with one lens only, no option to change lenses, with a flash, so that means it's going to have that flashy pop point and shoot look, and with nothing else, it made me really enjoy. I shot the five rolls of film, I developed it with Carmencita, we have a treaty here at work, so we use them as our lab, and I really enjoyed it. And I'm sharing this video with you guys because I thought it was interesting to see what kind of different things you can do with a camera that maybe you're not 100% satisfied. And I truly believe that you could grab any camera that you might not be content and try to shoot something that is not the normal with that camera and see how you feel. So if you're shooting, I don't know, maybe a Bronica RF6 uh, 45 and you're also struggling with finding what to shoot with that, maybe do night photography with it, or maybe do portrait photography with it, and like change the, your usual subject or way of using that piece of gear to see if maybe that clicks and makes you enjoy that gear in that scene. I'm gonna keep the Pablo for now. I don't have any other 6x7 camera. Uh, actually, that's not true. I do have a Mamiya RB67. That's a different story. So I have this one as my walk around camera, let's say. I have the other one for portraits mostly. But I really enjoyed the flash. I really enjoyed the simplicity. I really enjoyed that this flash is 15 bucks and I can slap it on a camera. Beware of electricity and currents and stuff. I don't know if this will be okay with modern cameras. And just have fun. And that's what I want to do when I shoot. And this was a fair trade show with uh, in Chrome uh, land in um, Photopia in Hamburg. I was working, I was sometimes drinking, I was having dinner plans and parties and stuff like that. So I wasn't exactly having all the time to think about my composition and the f-stop and the metering and blah, blah, blah. So I kept my, my lens at 1 500th and all I played was with the flash and the distance to the subject to fill in. So that was super fun. Let me know what you think about the results. I will upload all the original results to my Patreon page so you can actually download them, check them out, see them at higher resolution if that is something that interests you. I'll leave the link below. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. It really made me click with it. Someone told me in a previous video I made about this exact same topic in Spanish, how this was like Martin Parr's setup. I didn't really think about it when I shot it, but I actually could see that. And I wanted to document like a different kind of shooting style than the usual. I usually always shoot at daylight. I never shoot flash. I never shoot like close up. Uh, it's kind of like very different. So I really like lines, architecture, stuff like that. That's what I like. So this was really, really fun. So yeah, I would love to hear if there's something that's made you love some uh, gear by changing the way you use it completely and maybe even triggered different times, kinds of photography that you weren't doing before. To me, this plow belt and flash has made it into being my new point and shoot obviously at 10 shots per roll with current film prices you can't do this like a point and shoot because you get 36 exposures versus 10 but still very fun very interesting and like i said if you want to see the results i'll leave the link to that patreon below thanks for watching see you in the next one bye let me try to flash you guys